Victorians are set to pay twice for the government's response to the COVID pandemic, with a new levy to remain for 10 whole years to pay down the state's COVID debt. Businesses in Victoria are set to bear the brunt with a new boost to payroll tax announced in today's state budget. Property owners will also be whacked with a decade of extra taxes. Joining me now is Liberal Senator for Victoria, David Van. David, thank you so much for your time. I know our estimates is on, so it's good of you to spare me a moment. Haven't businesses in Victoria already been hit hard enough these last three years? Now, this tax is on top of everything. How will they cope? Oh, hi, Amanda, and uh, it's a shame not having you here in estimates with us. You know, I love serving with you uh, on the uh, Legal and Con Committee. What a joke. I, I mean, if businesses hadn't been hit hard enough during the longest lockdown in COVID in the world to now be hit by this budget, it, it, it's beggar's belief that this Treasurer, let alone the Premier who wrought all this damage, can walk outside in public and show his face. I mean, the shame he must be feeling to deliver a budget that punishes people who did it the hardest, did it the toughest, is, is beyond me. Mm. This increase to payroll tax will hit the largest employers, so it's not being levied on small mum and dad and coffee shop or restaurant businesses to the extent that any are left in Victoria after the COVID lockdowns. But still, this extra cost to employers will be passed down onto customers one way or another, surely. When people are already struggling with the cost of living, how's that going to play out? Well, the cost of living is just gone through the roof in Victoria for, for all the obvious reasons. Now, you know, as we, we both know that, you know, you can't tax your way out of, uh, out of inflation or out of the sort of economic problems that Victoria is facing. Yet a payroll tax is a double whammy because it's a further hit to productivity. So we're going to see wages come down, we're going mm. to see jobs fail because people aren't going to employ people when it's just going to ratchet up their, their payroll tax. And to the extent that they're, they're putting it up, I mean, it, it's mind-boggling. It's staggering exactly how high this is all going. And let's not forget, on top of this, even though they're sacking 4,000 public servants, one bit of the budget I don't have a huge problem with, however, the overall budget for the wage bill for public service in Victoria is still going up to $38.8 billion. $38.8 billion for public servants. 